What is going on, guys? This is Magic Park here, bringing you another Orwell's Wi-Fi battle. This one uh, with, you know, a new team, of course. Uh, we're bringing a full try-hard team, you know, go going strong with it this time. Uh, I just realized that I usually don't bring things like what I'm bringing right now, but I just wanted to try it, you know, see how it went with uh, three um, battles. So, uh, yeah, let's go right into it. We are against Joni, and that's very... It's very close to me. Actually, he's he's actually I actually um actually I uh, tried it tried with him on Showdown, and his actual name is Jonah, but he he goes by Joni. So anyway, he's going off with the Hydreigon. I lit off with the Latios. Um, I was afraid of the Scarf, but I was actually Life Orb on the set. I was I was contemplating Choice Scarf, but you know I didn't want three Choice Scarfers on the team. So, uh yeah, and we go for Ice Beam here, trying to catch the Hydreigon off guard. Uh, we also have the Thunderbolt, Shy Psy Shock, and Shadow Ball. Uh, no Draco Meteor or Dragon Dragon Pulse, unfortunately. I was gonna go um, Memento, but I decided against that just because I want I want something to hit Dragon types, and Ice Beam is just that. So uh, he's gonna need his rocks up as we go for the Thunderbolt. Probably did not expect that him, but uh, yeah. Another item which would be kind of good on this thing was Expert Bell because we have some really good coverage on this on this guy, and uh, yeah, that'd be cool. So uh, Memento Sun's gonna come about, and I'm gonna Shadow Ball here predicting. Anything to come in. I know he. I knew he wanted his Umbreon, or not his Umbreon. Uh, I knew. I knew he wanted his Empoleon to stay around. So, yeah. And plus, I thought Shadow Ball might pick up the kill. As uh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna go for the Ice Shard here. I actually did not expect that for some reason. I do live on seven. I believe that is or two. No, I think it's. I live. I lived on two. Yeah. There's like. I think there was like one each battle where I like lived on one because I already have all the battles uh, saved. I just have to record them, but they're all really good about it. So anyway, I go down to rec uh, recoil, but I feel like Latios did his job. I I should have expected the ice shot. I don't know why I didn't, but I couldn't come into Mandibus. Like, there's nothing really I could have switched in there, uh, except maybe Chandelure, but at that point, I didn't want to risk the EQ there. So, uh, but then again, he wouldn't go for EQ on Latios. So anyway, um... I'm gonna switch to my Mando Buzz as he goes into his Frogator. He's gonna do a Dragon Dance off his eye to fog the rocks away. Uh, rocks really do hurt my team, so does Fairy types, but um, yeah, we do have a Defogger here, which we usually like. It, if in the past, you know, a few teams, you probably realize my kind of battle style. Uh, I like hazards and such, but I don't really usually carry a, def a Defogger or a Rabbit Spinner. Um, like the only Rabbit Spinner I really have is. Um, this sand slash, but uh, anyway, do you go for the ice punch? I'm gonna live it, get, uh, get the toxic off, make sure the sweep doesn't happen. I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch out my mandibles because now that the rocks are off the field, I can switch back in safely. Uh, so I'm gonna go into Chandelure. I, that was that was just a stupid play. He's just gonna kill me with the waterfall. That was the most dumb play that I could ever make. Um. Definitely, I, I don't understand what happens there. So, um, yeah. I I don't... See, I I really should have... Like, in this battle, I didn't make the best plays at all. Um, as here, you will see, I just go into my Garchomp, thinking an er Earthquake will kill, but clearly this thing probably has some physical bulk. We are Choice Scarf and Jolly, uh, as he will Ice Punch us and take us out. So, that's just two mons, two crucial mons in this battle, down. Just like that, and... I, whatever so uh i was i was gonna like play some mind games like go into weavile and then switch out to take a better hit like into Venusaur or something but i just decided to go into weavile i have the priority i start so why not do that it will kill uh, this thing is a jolly focus sash set with um with swords dance ice shard ice punch and actually brick break because i couldn't get knock off on this thing <laughs> And it's actually gonna come come in clutch here, so I will go for a brick break right here. My best play here was the sword stance, uh, as you're gonna see here, because it does over half. Sword stance would have picked uh, the next turn after sword stance would have picked up the kill, as he goes for the wish there. So, um, yeah, clearly uh, he will have to switch out if he wants to preserve his uh, Glaceon, as I will predict this and go for the sword stance. Uh, you don't really see sword stance on Weavile like ever, so uh, he kind of wastes his wish there. Uh, I. I'm pretty sure he just wanted to soak up that hit and get back to full. But here you're going to see this Ice Punch since I don't have knockoff. It does over half to a Delphox that's resisting it. And because I'm not Life Orb, I am Focus Ash, and I do take that. Focus Ash is just there, you know, combined with Swords Dance, it kind of helps. As uh, this thing uh, clearly is not truly really Scarfed, and we're going to be able to uh, pick up the KO on the second Ice Punch. And yeah, 
We got picking up a kill. Um, so yeah, uh, at this point he brings in Poseidon. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, because I do have the brick break. I can just clean up. I did not fear the choice scarf in any universe. If it didn't outspeed my Latios, it couldn't outspeed my Weavile. So uh, there it is. And then uh, I think this is Spy Dragon. Yeah, Spy Dragon. It's not High Dragon. It's Spy Dragon. Nice. So I'm gonna Ice Shirt start here. I should have known though. It was not choice scarf. Uh, knowing that it switched out against our Latios. Um, so it's just gonna Dark Pulses. We could have gotten the sweep with Weavile, but. <laughs> It didn't happen, um, as here, I just go into Barbara, uh, because at this point I did think it was Choice Scarf, but clearly it's not, yeah, I mean, I just made bad plays in this, in this game, like, too many to forgive, but luckily, you know, I still had a chance, this Mega Venus will comes in here, uh, it's Impish, with fully, in a fully specially defensive, we have Toxic, Leech Seed, Synthesis, and here's one, Earthquake. Earthquake just did steel types that I can't toxic, and I have an impish nature for some reason, so, uh, you know, I can't really hit very well with Sludge Bomb or Giga Drain or whatever, so I just went, went opted out to go for the, uh, Earthquake, so there it is. Anyways, here I'm gonna toxic, toxic hits, uh, all the time if you're a poison type using it, so, uh, we are going to be able to pick up the kill against High Dragon. That is that. We could have gotten a little Leech Eat off and done, like, a little damage. Or, or gotten a little health back, but no reason to do that as uh, he will ice beam here. Now this was kind of scary. I do, I did know I had this thick fat, so I knew I could eat one. But you know, I went for the synthesis here, knowing that I could eat one, probably heal myself. You know, I could outstall this thing, but I didn't have toxic or leech cheat on this thing, so he will end up wishing here, like I predicted. I believe I go for the toxic this turn, then the leech cheat. Um, or no, I actually go for synthesis. Well, wow. alrighty then. Um, I'm not sure because at that point, at that range, I probably could have eaten two, barring a crit. But, uh, yeah, he will go for the ice beam this turn. Uh, he's gonna get almost up to full this turn, so, uh, I will go for the toxic just to put this thing on the timer. We also have Leechy coming in soon, so, you know, it's just Glaceon and Mega Venusaur just duking it out at this point. Uh, he just has to hope for a freeze or something, or anything, so, uh, he's gonna ice beam. I can just keep synthesizing right now, but I did not PP max this Venus for this Venus or unfortunately, so I can't just keep going for synthesizes synthesizes as I will go for the lychee this turn, get a little health back, and judging by that ice beam damage, I'm not sure I can live one another one. In fact I didn't think I could. And you're gonna see here Glacier just goes for ice beam and um Unfortunately, it will be able to knock us down to one, and we're gonna live, and we're gonna get this this synthesis this synthesis up, and we're gonna keep, we're gonna just be able to just stall him out at this point, <laughs> uh, because the leech seed combined with the toxic, you know, it's basically GG at this point. He just needs to get a freeze, but you know that 10% chance, gonna spoil it for you right now, is not going to come in clutch form, as uh, I will. I'm actually going to go for the Earthquake, I think, this turn, because there's no reason not to. He's dying to the to Elite and Toxic anyway, so why not go for that Earthquake just to ensure that, as it will bring him down to the red. Elite Sheed and Toxic is going to clean up, I believe, just... Yeah, just Elite Sheed. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Uh, my plays in this battle were not the most admirable, but I did pick up the, pick up the win, as uh, I believe I still had one mine left. I think I, I think I saw Latios. No, no, I didn't. I didn't have Weavile. I didn't. Ha Wait, did I have Weavile? No, right? Didn't it? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't have Chandelure. I guess that was my. No, I still had Mandibuzz. Yeah, I still had Mandibuzz. But that thing wouldn't have beat Glaceon. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time.